Would you ever choose friends over families? Um, look, friends are friends, we know that. Yeah. And family obviously comes first. But and then if they are closer to you, you, you treat your friends as a family. So I can't see any problem with that. Definitely not. No. No. Under no circumstance would you do that? No, because friends come and go. Right. But my family have always been there for me. My fam I'm quite family oriented. I feel like mm. we're quite a small family and we're quite close. And I think I just couldn't imagine like disregarding my family for my friends. Friends are part of my family. I have chosen you as a brother to me. So, yeah, so that's what I said. However, I said friends, however of, yeah. I would not choose my friend over my family when it comes to certain things. Yeah, likewise, because the priority is always going to be family, regardless. Not not saying that my friends don't have any, you know, big value to me. They do, but you know, they've got a special place in my heart. But my family is number one. I yeah, you know what? It would be very difficult for me to choose a friend over my family. Um, yeah, it, I would not want to be faced with that situation. No. Do you have a care for you? Yes. Well, why would I say yes? Actually, I don't. Why would I? No, I don't. Do I have a curfew? At your age, do you have a curfew? No, I live on my own. Oh, yeah, I think that's what it is for me. Like my parents think more about if it's safe to stay out, then you can stay out. Otherwise, you should be home. If you don't have a, any reason to be out, you should yeah. not be out. So if unless I'm working, unless I'm at uni, unless you know I'm at, with, out with my friends, depending on that they have to know where I am though. Yeah, when I was, there's obviously the time. No, no, but I'm talking about now. Of now, no. I am very similar to you. It's very self-imposed. I have to abide by the desires of my child. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and but even when I was living with parents, I, I actually didn't have a curfew. Because we were never allowed we out. We were never allowed out. <laughs> <laughs> if I come home at 11, he's not too fast. Uh -uh. If it's later than that, he'll be like... Because it's not really... You drive though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it, oh, if it's public transport, no way. Yeah. What will you start the curfew with? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. <laughs> Would you attend a gathering with work colleagues in a bar? I've seen this happen before, mm. as in I know a lot of people, like I've seen some people go and do it, but I wouldn't. Mm. It, I just, I've just never felt comfortable around alcohol, even if I wasn't, like, I'm not, I'm not the one who's drinking, but because it's around me, I'm not comfortable with it. The smell is horrible as well. I, I'm, yeah. I'm not, I'm, in my opinion, I wouldn't go. Obviously, if it's important to have a discussion with them outside work to understand their personality, I think it was, it, I would attend it. But however, I don't drink alcohol. I can have just like a like a Coke or something. Well, I wouldn't now. So, with my work, like we have like work dinners. Yeah. And then they're not like mandatory things to go to, but usually I'd suggest some work halal. Yeah. <laughs> and usually they're okay. But I remember one work dinner, they wanted to go to somewhere that didn't have alcohol, but it was bring your own. Oh. And this one of the ladies brought her own wine or god knows what it was and i was like oh this is like a really uncomfortable situation because like how do i deal with this i just don't want to take the risk i just don't want to even be in that environment yeah would you um i wouldn't to be honest with you but some occasions when you're work and ask for a meeting but obviously you have the right to speak up and say look i won't be able to attend these allocations because xyz and i'm sure they will understand um depending on the circumstances, like we did go out after like a group job interview yeah. and I did, um, but I just sat on the restaurant mm. side and they wandered over to the bar side, but that was like a one-off. Mm. But otherwise, no, I, 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 I wouldn't. Would and quit. Alhamdulillah, um, now I, uh, I, I'm not faced with that dilemma. Makes it easier. Absolutely. I personally think that it's a good benefit that God has given us is because what would the drugs and the alcohol will impact our lives? Um, I think it's a very good thing that we are prohibited okay. from drug taking and alcohol consumption. Right. 
I can understand alcohol, but aren't there a lot of health benefits to some drugs? To some well, that's drugs? a very grey area. You'd really mm. have to speak to someone who's quite learned about what's allowed, under what mm. circumstances, when, to who. I don't know where it came from. I don't know why they think it's okay. okay. It's just becoming more of a norm. It's the thing to do when you're socialising. Yeah. You know, some. You know, they used to say that you know I take it for stress or you, I'm drinking it because I'm so sad, but it's actually just. So to socialize with other people mm. um my opinion of it is just no because it, it is bad for your health whether you like it or not and i've seen what it can do to people but no i i understand why um islam prohibits it and and completely understand that because when you look at the effects it has yeah. it is way more damaging so that a little short time of happiness I'd rather give that up and have a longer time of safer living Absolutely. and healthier living. So no, I, I completely agree. I think it's, it's there for our own good. Good. Also, it would damage our body parts. It damage yourself and damage your reputation yeah. as well. Yeah. I have a really like clear cut mindset of this. It's haram, it's wrong, don't do it. Um, so yeah, I definitely, and I would encourage, I would encourage everyone to invite people from many different faiths and cultures. Let them see, let them come in and see our Muslim weddings. Of course, why wouldn't I? Of course, I would. Why I would. not? What's what, what's what's? I will share them? the. I will share everything. Let them let let them understand. Because that, I'm proud. Yeah, you should be a proud. Yeah. Let them understand what other people's views are, what other cultures are. Exactly. It's yeah. It's nice to know about other people's yeah. cultures. Why and not? Everything. Definitely, we agree. I I think yeah. I didn't have Jewish. I had obviously Christians. Mm. I had Hindu. I had Sikh. I had. Buddhist, um, obviously United Muslims, Nations. the whole United Nations, <laughs> absolutely, yeah, no, and it made it a lot more fun and they had the opportunity to get in and learn about our culture and our yes. religion and it was a great educational opportunity for them as well. Absolutely. Yeah, I would definitely invite, I, I'd invite the whole world if I could. That would be expensive. It would be an expensive yeah. wedding, but I mean, I, I, I have no problem because the more culture that you have, the more like, the more fun. Do you have non-Muslim friends? See, I do. Yes, I do have non-Muslim friends. Um, my colleagues at work. Oh, that's good. They're non-Muslims. I have people outside work, also non-Muslim. Um, yeah, I do. I don't know, we, like, we met at work and we just have loads in common. Like, mm. other than, obviously religion is not the same, but yeah. um, we just get along. And it's, I don't know, it's nice. It's nice to have people that are different to you because you can, learn about different people. I have a lot of non-Muslim friends. Okay. Who doesn't in this country? Yeah, I suppose if you're born and brought up in the UK, it would be normal to have non-Muslim friends. But even in, when I lived in Pakistan, yeah. I had Christian friends. Ah. I had Muslim friends. I had friends of both groups of Muslims. Yes. I work with non-Muslims. But to think about the close friends that I have, realistically, no. Honestly, I do, yeah. I'm mixed with non-Muslims a lot because where I work, there's a lot of non-Muslims and I have three friends on the side, they're not Muslims as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. I have quite a few actually, yeah. The thing is, I've grown around loads of different types of people, but I just, somehow my friends have ended up all being Muslim. Mm -hmm. It's really weird. I don't know how, because I'm not someone who differentiates. Yeah. I'm still more close to my Muslim mm. friends on a, in a different way. Just because relate more to them. Absolutely. Yeah, and we can do more things together because we have the same sort of exactly. beliefs and, and same. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. Yeah.